I have a special uh, Halloween version of the Lamb service today. Kids, if you want to come down, let's sit on the front row today instead of over to the side. And I have already asked Addison if she would come up here and help me with this one. So, because uh, it does, it's a little involved. But uh, we need her head today, just her head, that's all. <laughs> How's everybody doing, y'all? Are y'all going to try to be here Wednesday night? You're going to come Wednesday night and give a trick or treat? We're going to fill your bucket up with candy. All right. All right. Uh, last Sunday, I imposed upon Danny Ward, and uh, he brought stones for us to go with our stone message. Today is the fourth and final uh, in that series, and we have some left. If you've been going about this week and said, I just wish I had a stone I could have thrown at that guy, uh, <laughs> then there's some more left up here. I thank Danny for that. Danny Bain helped. This, I have, well, this is a trick that I did many years ago, half of many years, and I've done for, for many years, but a contraption uh, in moving here or there kind of got out of whack, so he helped me build, build this. He didn't help me build it, he built it yesterday. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this, this is high tech. <laughs> Sit down right there, guys. You ready? Okay, here we go. When I was a little boy and I watched television, there was a ventriloquist, a, a comedian, a, an entertainer that was always on television. He's always on in black and white, and his, his name was Sen Senor Winces. And and he did uh, puppets. He was a ventriloquist. He had and, and his, the funniest one is he, he would paint a mouth and eyes on his hand and put it on the body. It was hilarious. I'll, I'll show you some videos. <coughs> Senor Winces. I'm sure uh, Randy remembers it. But he had. Uh, the head of a puppet that he put in a box and he'd open up the box and it had a mouth that would talk and he, would, he could make it talk. So I told Addison about that, told her I was going to tell you because when he would close the box on that talking head, he would want to make sure that everything was good. He would, he would say, all right, and inside he would say, sorry. It was, I guess you had to see it. So I've got a car around your neck right now. Are you all right? So I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to use that. I want to talk to you today some more about believing. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus, but I've never seen them. And some people think that that's silly. How can you believe in someone that you've never seen? There are lots of people that I believe in that I've never seen before. And uh, so, but you can't believe everything you see. Sometimes you think, well, all right, let's see it. I would believe it then. Well, I'm going to fool you today. I'm going to make you think. I'm going to make you think you see something. You can't always trust everything you hear and everything you see. All right, can you see Addison's head in there? You all right? It's all right. All right. Now, I've got a can right over here. And I'm going to take this can. The kids may recognize this because I use this also in Vacation Bible School. Watch your nose. All right. How about now? You all right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've got a handkerchief right here. Those are just some old office trash cans that I've got. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it up just like that. And then I'm gonna reach down inside just like this. been wanting to do that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Bye, Oh, 
Whoa. <laughs> okay. Now, right, wait a minute. Let's see what it was this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> now, I t did I teach you last week what you say when you go to church? Christmas? What do you say? Trick or treat? Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Oh, no. It's not pulled down the river. All right. You can't believe everything you see. But you can believe in Jesus. You can believe in God. And I recommend that, that you consider that completely. Would you clap for Addison? She's very really good. Thank you, Addison. Y'all can all go back and sit with your folks again. And Brother Dan, you can come and lead us if you would.